If you're greeted with this following message, a problem was detected with the True Depth camera, Face ID is being disabled, well the good news is on most occasions there is a solution. So keep watching and let's see what we can do to fix your problem. Okay, so this is a very common issue that has been uh, popping up more and more as more phones have been coming out with the Face ID. Obviously, it's something to do with the front camera, which is located on the front of your phone. Now, that is the camera that recognizes your face, so you can unlock the phone. Now, what we need to do is we need to look at some possible causes and some solutions. On most occasions, actually, I get this uh, sorted for customers without any type of major repairs being done. But we need to take a step-by-step -step approach and look at it. It's a very easy fix to address. So first of all, we need to look at the simple things. Now, the first thing you need to do is check that the actual glass that is covering your front camera is clean. So you need to give it a wipe down, make sure there's nothing covering it, obstructing it, getting in its way as that can cause the camera to how should I say, struggle in trying to recognize your face. Now, what, what I like to do is usually get something like Windex or, or any type of uh, solu solution on a, on a cloth and just clean it. Now, make sure you don't have any type of uh, screen protectors that are cracked or anything over it because that will definitely cause an issue. Also, any type of cases, stuff like that, sometimes they can actually obstruct the view a bit. So you need to make sure that you know you take everything off uh, I mean, look, you know, if your, if your actual screen protector seems to be fine, I probably wouldn't do that to save yourself a bit of money, but you can if you want. And then we go on to the next step. Step two is you just need to hold down the power button and the volume up button for a few seconds till you get that screen and swipe to turn off. Now, what this is going to do is obviously shut down your phone so then we can reboot it again. Now, funny enough, when I do this, on most occasions, this fixes a problem. When I'm talking about fixing the problem, these phones are in good condition. They're not broken or anything like that. Step three is something that if you go to Apple support or even the Apple store, they're gonna make you do this anyway. So you might as well do it just to eliminate and, and rule out any other issues. Okay, so step three is what we need to do is back up your phone and then restore it. The what I mean by backing it up is uh, plugging it into iTunes through a laptop or desktop. I've got a link in the description below on instructions on how you can back up and then do a full restore of your iPhone. It is uh, something that's really good and it does fix a lot of problems. It is something that is a bit time consuming as it takes po probably about between 15 to 30 minutes on most occasions as you need to back up your data and then you need to actually restore the software on there. Now, once you've done that, you can test it again to see if that works. Now, if you're extremely unlucky and it still doesn't work, the final step is to actually contact Apple. So what I recommend is you actually uh, go through to the Apple support and book uh, a chat request or, or a call with a technician and then they'll guide you on the phone on what you should do. I've got a link below on where to find the Apple support. But let me just say that on most occasions, if your phone is in good condition where it's not smashed or anything like that, the first two steps that I did recommend fixes the problem most of the time. So I hope I actually helped you out today. Once again, please subscribe. I'm trying to get the subscriber numbers up. And once again, I'll be giving you more and more tips on how to take care of your phone get the most out of it. And of course, any new updates coming out for Apple products or any other products, I'll be first on to it, give you guys an update. Cheers, thanks, bye.